Hi folks, I just wanted to go through some of the slope behavior in Platformer Pro. So this is just normal geometry that's been rotated, no smoothing or transition geometry required. And we can see the character walks around it and across it. Also works on pass through platforms. And we'll notice that when we get to an edge, character won't actually fall off the edge and change their rotation until they're right on the end. Um, so, I'm going to add a don't rotate sprite to my character sprite. Now when I do this, you'll see in the editor we get a warning, basically saying we need to rotate faster, or set up rotation speed to be faster if we're using a don't rotate sprite script. So that's something you'll see throughout the editor, where the scripts will pick up configuration issues, or potential configuration issues, and give you a recommendation. So let's follow that recommendation, turn our rotation speed up to 360, and now when we walk around, you'll see that probably better on this one over here. Our character is following the slope, but not rotating. So that's behavior you'll see in a lot of retro games like Super Mario Brothers and things like that. So let's stop the game for a moment, remove that script. Um, so slopes can also impart a force on the character, basically meaning they'll slide on the slope. So let's adjust this acceleration factor. So we'll see now we get another one of those warnings. Basically says our current ground movement does not support ground sliding. So when we have a look at our current movement, it's on the very simple digital movement. Let's switch it across to physics movement. Put in some settings. So we'll see the warning's gone away now because a physics type movement will support ground sliding. Let's hit play. So we'll see now that our character's sliding down the slopes. Yeah, we'll speed a bit faster now, but sliding at different speeds depending on the slope. We'll slide on pass through platforms too. So you get the idea. Yeah, there we have it.